So let's examine the following problem. An object is moving along a straight path, let's say along the x-axis, whose displacement or position function is given by the following equation. x of t is equal to 3.0t squared plus 4.0. In other words, what this function tells us is that for any given time, this function spits out a certain displacement. So let's say at time equals zero, we know our displacement is four meters. Now, let's find part A and then move on to part B. In part A, we want to find the magnitude of our average acceleration between the time interval of time naught equals three seconds to time one equals six seconds. So, if we graph our displacement function, so we have displacement versus time, we get the following relationship. Now, what we want to find is we want to mark our time naught. Let's say our time naught is at this point and our time final is at this point. So our time final and our time naught. And we want to find what our average acceleration is between this time interval. Now notice if we simply draw our lines going upward and then we find the corresponding values at these two points, that will give us the corresponding displacement values. And if we find the slope between these two points, that will give us the average velocity. But we're looking for the average acceleration. So that means before we find the slope between these two points, we have to find the derivative of our displacement function. And then we plot that and find the slope of that graph. So let's take our velocity and or actually let's take our function and take the derivative of this displacement function to give us our velocity. So first derivative of this function, this term becomes two times three times t. The second term becomes zero because we don't have a t term here. So our velocity with respect to time is simply 6.0 times t. So now if we graph this function, we get a, a straight line with a slope of 6. So we have the uh, y-axis is our velocity and the x-axis is our time. Now if we take this time interval and we find the corresponding values and we find the slope between these two points that will give us our value of our average acceleration. Now notice before we do any calculation this is a straight line. It has a constant slope. In fact the slope of this line represents our average acceleration. So after we do our calculation our slope should end up at 6.0 meters per second second. So, Let's find our average acceleration by using our formula. So average acceleration is equal to change in velocity divided by change in time. So v final minus v initial divided by t final minus t initial. So we know that t final minus t initial, 6 minus 3, is 3.0 seconds. Now, what about our v final? Well, or the initial. Well, we can't really tell what it is according to this graph, but we can tell what it is using this equation. So if we plug in our values, time values, into our velocity function, we'll find our velocities. So, um, at time equals 6 seconds, we have 6 times 6, 36. At a time equals 3 seconds, we have 6 times 3, 18. So we have 36 minus 18, which is 18 on top and 3 on the bottom, so 18 divided by 3, 6.0 meters per second second is our average velocity, and that's exactly what the average velocity is from our graph, because this uh, is our slope, 6.0, and these numbers are exactly the same. So, let's go to part B. Find the instantaneous acceleration, the magnitude of it. Well, to find our instantaneous acceleration, we simply have to take either the second derivative of our displacement function with respect to time or the first derivative of our velocity function. So since we already found our velocity function, let's take that. Let's take the first derivative of our velocity function. So the formula is instantaneous acceleration is equal to 
our derivative, our velocity, so infinitely small change in v divided by infinitely small change in t is equal to, we simply replace the velocity with our 6.0 times t, and we get the following value. So our t cancels out, it becomes a 1, and now we get the following value. So our acceleration is equal to 6.0 meters per second second. So notice that our instantaneous acceleration is the same exact regardless of our time. In other words, our acceleration throughout the entire trip is constant. It's 6.0 meters per second second. 